Hey you guys, didn't see you there. We're going camping. You know, everybody wants to go camping. They all want to know why. God, I wish I could go take that trip you guys put on the internet. I wish I could be taking that trip. Well, go to drink all night. Go to bed early. Wake up early. It's 3 in the morning right now. It's going to be 100 degrees today. So, we got a 4 hour drive. We're not taking the motor home on a 100 degree interstate. So, we're going to hit the road at about 4.15. This is Coulter Man's camping trip time. We are we are here in North Dakota. We're at Medora. And this is the D Moore's packing plant. We got a bunch of people over behind us because they're doing a marathon today. That's kind of neat, huh, Coulter? That's kind of neat. Welcome to Medora. Say hi, welcome to Medora. Ow, don't punch me in the face. You're so mean to me. No gold potty on anything. Dreams of Cattle Empire. Hey, look, Billings, that's where we live. Medora, Mile City. Coulter man, you're off road and look at that. So we got Coulter. We're in Medora, North Dakota. Got the dogs, got the baby, got the wife, got the camper. Look at that chimney though. He's tall. Hi hey. Annie. So over here. Shane, come on Shane. Over here was the slaughterhouse. Shane, hey, come here. It's kind of neat. They still have the corner posts of the buildings. And then you have a golden retriever that's going to roll in whatever he's rolling in. Stop it. Stop it, you animal. You're an animal. You filthy animals. So this is like some kind of an old, like the furnace. No, I mean this thing in general. Cool, come this way. I just want to look at this. Look at these rivets or like super, get out of there. It's not a dog house, it's a furnace chain. You don't need to go in there. Yeah, this is all the old. Annie, get out of there. You find a rattlesnake. You gotta tighten that up when she does it. This is their old smokestack. Gigantic chimney. Oh my goodness. Look at the names. Andy Crank. Carved in this thing. <laughs> a whole lot of people made their mark there. A lot of names carved in it. Woo! Big chimney. Holy cow. Yes, we are in the Badlands. Everywhere around us goes up. We're in the low section here. Us and the baby. We got that culture man right there. <gasps> you welcome to North Dakota. Just don't say a word. We're in Medora. Look at that sky. It's 
almost as big and blue as Montana. It's not quite because we're like we're like 15 or 20, 25 minutes over the border in North Dakota from Montana, so it's like kind of dingy. It's not quite as Montana blue sky, you know. <laughs> I'm hating. I know I hate. But as you can tell, it's the Badlands. We're below the Badland Hills on all sides. I love tourist towns. You just get to take the baby and wander up the sidewalk. Buy shirts and stuff. Look at this shirt. This is the Whistle and Diesel shirt. We gotta go, gotta go make sure the dogs haven't turned into hot dogs. No, we got the... We ran the air conditioning before we left. Gotta get some ice cream with that little man. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Quite old enough for my own ice cream. I'm having fun in Medora. With my little hat I got. Yeah. Yeah. When you're in the tourist town, you gotta tourist it up. Walk around the, all the gift shops. Look at overpriced shirts. <laughs> Eat some ice cream, that's always the good one. It's beautiful out here. We are staying at the Buffalo Gap Guest Ranch. What used to be a legitimate ranch, they've turned into somewhat housing and rental. If you're traveling through this area with horses, you can rent RV spots with horse, horse pins and pasture. These are all rooms. Look at this old building. Isn't that neat? We're in Medora, North Dakota. Not much out here. Middle of nowhere. Gotta love it. <clears throat> well, there's the setup, boys and girls. 26 foot Class C Tioga. We love our little motorhome. I've been working on it. Painting and stuff. Adding lights. We're staying here in North Dakota. We came to Medora, North Dakota. It's not a very big place. It's just a small little town, but place we're staying here is a little side campground guest ranch and they're having a wedding this weekend and most of these people are at their wedding because they're all just right down here below at the buildings um, we're up here cooking dinner taco night got the baby inside and the dogs inside having a blast How to camp 101. Make videos like this. Learn how to tighten an awnings. See, the awnings locked in place with locks. Now, those locks could be up to you. I'm being lazy because I don't have sidewalls. That's don't get on me about that. Shut up. This, though, tight, like almost G cord tight. This is the pull down strap for it. I'm not doing so tight that I pull this out of place, but tight enough that it's a Strap type thing. Nice and taut. Barbecue outside the awning. It's a good way to burn your motor home down. RV water filter. It has well water. Water access spray out clean for the pipe so that you're not just dumping the contents of this and then picking it up. You hook the hose up to that, spray it out. Custom made tray. No sag. Lock-in head valves. Aftermarket adapter to make this hard spot way easier.
the tire tracks. Aftermarket lights, sun shades. These are all things you can do to make the camping experience a lot nicer. Takes a little bit of time to get everything hooked up. It's worth it. When you're buying hoses, let me explain one more thing. This is a fresh water hose. It's got a nice blue stripe on it, so that when I pick it up, I know that's my water hose. This one over here does not have any blue stripes on it. That's the one we use to blow out the poop line. You don't want to put the poop hose on the water hose. I think you know where I'm going there, so remember that. We are staying at the Buffalo Gap Guest Ranch. What used to be a legitimate ranch, they've turned into somewhat housing and rental. If you're traveling through this area with horses, you can rent RV spots with horse, horse pins and pasture. These are all rooms. Look at this old building. Isn't that neat? We're in Medora, North Dakota. Not much out here. Middle of nowhere. Gotta love it. How to camp. 101. Make videos like this. Learn how to tie down awnings. See, the awning's locked in place with locks. Now, those locks could be up to you. I'm being lazy because I don't have sidewalls. That's, don't get on me about that. Shut up. This, though, tight, like, almost G-cord tight. This is the pull-down strap for it. I'm not doing so tight that I pull this out of place, but tight enough that it's a strap type thing. Nice and taut. Barbecue outside the awning. It's a good way to burn your motorhome down. RV water filter. It has well water. Water access spray out clean for the pipe. So that you're not just dumping the contents of this and then picking it up. You hook those up to that, spray it out. Custom made tray. No sag. Lock in head valves. Aftermarket adapter to make this hard spot way easier. Tire trucks. Aftermarket lights. Sun shades. These are all things you can do to make the camping experience a lot nicer. Takes a little bit of time to get everything hooked up. It's worth it. When you're buying hoses, let me explain one more thing. This is a fresh water hose. It's got a nice blue stripe on it. So that when I pick it up, I know that's my water hose. This one over here does not have any blue stripes on it. That's the one we use to blow out the poop line. You don't want to put the poop hose on the water hose. I think you know where I'm going there, so remember that. Okay. Well, as you can see, guys, we're staying here at the Buffalo Gap Guest Ranch. They have a campground down the road. This is the actual Guest Ranch, if you look around. This is pretty nice for being in the middle of nowhere. They're having a wedding at this rented building over here. Coaster! Oh my gosh! Hey Kicking in and jumping. Kicking in and jumping and rolling. As you can see, we're wrapping up the night here, walking the big old, the big old tired man around the, the place. They're having a wedding. They rented out this place. That's we're in the middle of nowhere. Not necessarily middle of nowhere, but I mean, there's nothing here. We're five minutes out of the little town, and this is like literally like a probably a 50 room place and it's got a campground attached if this had a hot springs it would rival chico 
they're going. So who knows how old it is? It says 25 cents. We'll see if it actually works. When's the last time you got to do this? A quarter drop slot. And then I missed it. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> ah, he's just gonna beat the heck out of him. Look at those eyes. I don't think I know what's happening to me. I know, hi, it's a little too much. Uh. You're funny. So go your man. That's funny. Walk the dog. I love the rustic feel of this overhang. Hey, come on. Come on. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a been a nice trip. It's been a low key, sitting in just a kind of a low end campground trip. We got to see Medora yesterday, and Cat had never seen Medora. Now Coulter has as well, and the dogs have. So we had a good trip. It's a four hour drive, so not too bad in the motorhome. We've gone farther for one day. If you watched the video, thank you for watching. I'm heading down right now to see if they got any breakfast. Just wanted to go ahead and tie her up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, Montana viewers. Have a great day.